Like I, I'm gonna I'm gonna believe in Stelter here. Like you know I um I think I think he can definitely pull some good stuff. But like definitely gonna be a tough match. And like we start with we start with Brand putting on the pressure big time and like. Yeah, like Stelter is definitely Stelter is like yeah, oh, so, yeah, he's like Brand's already got a uh, pretty big lead, like nine and ninety percent lead. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay, like oh, and he gets him with the uh, the cart. Um, Stelter's off stage. This is uh oh, and Stelter's down to stock already. We're not even we're, we were just about thirty seconds in. Um, this is yeah. go, this is moving quick. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that Bowser Jr. does have as an advantage is kooky movement mix-ups. Yeah, yeah, like it's such an odd, such an, like an odd, um, such an odd like, matchup. Yeah, like look at that, the way he can use cart, and there's always a chance that he can jump out of cart. So right there, he just did it, and that was the mix-up that Stelter wasn't ready for. Yeah, yeah, like Stelter's really falling behind here. Like he's got, he's, well, he's got to get a percent first, he's really, really got to get that kill. Yeah, if he gets hit one more time, that's he's basically been lapped in percent. Yep. Yeah, fall, yeah, fall and lapped. Oh, uh, went for it, but it's a little bit off. It's such oh. an interesting out of shield option with yeah, that, uh, yeah, with that uh, evacu. I don't forget what it's called. Um, I don't know, uh, abandoned ship. <laughs> I think that is actually what it's called. Oh man. Dang. Yeah, it's interesting, but it's like it just leaves a big bomb on the stage, essentially. Like, it does, and I mean, it kind of gets him out of a bad situation. Oh my god, what oh happened? Oh boy, this is a rough game for uh, Stelter for sure. Yeah, like Brand just commanding everything right now. I, I feel like I don't even know what Stelter's game plan is. I, I can't. I feel well, like he doesn't have one. Just, he's just been too smothered, too overwhelmed. He hasn't really yeah, figured out what he even needs to be doing. Yeah, like Brand's putting on like a ton, like so much pressure. He's not get, he's not giving a Stelter a minute to set up. Like, yeah, for good reason because you don't want to set up you don't want to have a link set up against you. But Stelter did get a stock. Like we do have a stock so far, and like yeah, yeah I've seen Stelter pull some crazy stuff. That so. is very true. But he's got to pull something really crazy. He wants to take yeah. the game. And he's also got to pull it crazy while also avoiding everything that Bran wants to do. Because Bran can do crazy stuff himself. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is like... Yeah, this is not... This is not looking good for Stelter. Yeah. I, I'm Just, like, compare how ready Bran is to punish Stelter's moves, like, versus, you know, the other way around. I feel like, you know, Bran will go for a move and generally, you know, even if it whiffs, he doesn't quite get punished. But... Stelter, he's getting stuffed out with up airs and up smashes. He's getting whiff punished. It's like, yeah, he's getting, he's, yeah. he's getting the, he's getting the, uh, the Bowser, the uh, Morton special, Morton Steakhouse special. Now, honestly, I think the biggest thing that uh, Bran is doing is he's throwing out those. He's like anticipating and just these preemptive forward airs, these preemptive neutral airs that are shutting down that movement so cleanly. And oh, that's wow. Well. What a back air. I think he actually timed that in between the, sli the swipes. Yeah, yeah, just the, just the bare necessities. All right, well, that was definitely a rough game for Stelter. Let's see where they're going to go. All right, we're going to Kalos. Okay. Um, yeah, like... All right, like I'm not sure what uh, stuff we're sticking here with Kalos, but I, I, I hope you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. I, I think possibly he wanted FD, and like FD was banned. That's yeah. like one of the guesses that I have whenever I see somebody choose, um, you know, this stage when it is maybe a little bit kooky. Yeah, like like Kalos, I think is probably one of the most unique stages in this game or in competitive play. Um, just with, the, just with the platform placement, but I, the thing is, I can see with um, one advantage of Kalos is that Stelter can leave the bombs on those platforms there, which can give him give him some control over um, Brand's recovery. That is true. Yeah, Brand can't go for those really cheeky mix-ups with like kind of going underneath the stage a little bit. With and the speaking of, there it is. Oh. Ooh, wow! Just like just like like instant transmission of the bomb. Also, but, another thing is he can be a lot more vertical. You know, oh, with no yeah. platforms in the way. He's coming in from on high, using the fact that Link has that kind of bizarrely buffed 
uh, fast fall speed to close the gap. And that's a stock. And Stelter's only at 40%. Yeah, just so what a what a different story. What a reversal from what was going on in that first game. Yeah, yeah, it has like Breath of the Wild. Or no, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, <gasps> I know, I know. Now I know that uh, Link loses to Bowser Jr. Oh in, yeah, in, in the first half of, of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, after the Great Plateau. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, but um, yeah, no, Stelter is getting extra percent. Like he's did get bombed though. Like. He's not careful here. That stock could be uh, that stock could be cooked. Yeah, I do feel like oh, uh, uh, I was about oh. to say that I feel like Bran is kind of cleaning up his play a little bit. But right as I was about to mention it, Stelter with these cheeky bomb plays. Ooh, speaking of cheeky, Ooh. I don't think he's. Oh, oh he, he is, is dead because the Mega Koopa did extra damage. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Like it kind of like flicked mid 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 like way through his uh I guess you know um, travel. Like I saw like which probably hit me a hit again. Oh yeah. what do you got? Wow! And I it's just even. It's even. I just blinked and like whoa. Yeah, Brand actually has a slight lead here. It was all from one combo basically. Yeah, yeah. Like seriously, Brand is making is making about uh, more of these more to look real good tonight. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, oh my god! Be, he does not want to get drilled. I was about to say, like, why do you throw that Mecha Koopa up? There's a platform there. It's not going to catch him on the way back down, but it was actually designed to stuff out the jump. That was so smart. Yeah, yeah, he's... Ooh. Yeah, Stelter is like an... Stelter hit the guy, and he's like... That stock is going to be a uh, long gone. But it's the same deal for Bran. Oh, man. Whoever takes the stock, it's going to be massive. It's going to be such a pace setter. And... Oh. Man is hungry for it. All right. What do you got, Bran? What do you got, Stelter? Oh, and there it is. There, yeah. there, it, there it is. That was a great job recognizing what Bran's habits in the neutral had been. Or sorry, in disadvantage, rather. And he was absolutely going to punish it with that up air. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it's like they both have a book of each other and just like, yeah, they're both like paging through it, trying to like get to the end quicker. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and... <laughs> I mean, the end of that book is nigh. Last stock for both of them. If uh, Stelter doesn't actually mention take, if Stelter takes this, we do move on to a game three. But uh, right now, I think that Brand still seems to have a pretty good handle on what he's doing. Oh, oh. Uh, the spin out didn't land. Yay. <gasps> oh, that's a huge opening. Oh, uh, okay, okay, he's got the grab. Oh no. Okay. Did you see that fastball? Just barely didn't get hit by that up B. Oh, yeah, that would have hurt if he did, but still, like, Stelter here is, like, yeah, Stelter's got, definitely got a nice percent lead, but, like, that's, it's not going to last. Oh, oh. that would have hurt. Oh. Like, uh, that oh. also hurt. <laughs> 108 percent. Both these guys oh. are in the death's door, and that's going to be it, though. And we got a game three. We're getting book three, folks. Yeah, but we're getting book three, fire. <laughs> yeah, no, I really, I think this is really interesting, sort of, you know, counterplay, especially when it comes to the brand putting out these preemptive moves. You know, he yeah. was throwing out these forward airs and he was stuffing out the approaches. You know, just it felt like right before Link's move would come out, it would just be intercepted, interrupted. But yeah. by the end of that, Stelter was going for a lot more full hops, and that yeah. makes it a lot trickier. You know, when you have when you short hop into forward air, yeah, okay. But right there, he was kind of full hopping and either like trying to punish a full hop from Brand himself, which is what that forward air was, or just like being more patient, not approaching in, just like waiting and see what Brand was going to do. And when he, if he did throw out like that preemptive forward air, that was possibly the opening where he could punish. So yeah, I'd I, say like Stelter was in control of that game. Like the first game, like I felt like Stelter was like trying to come up with the game plan. I feel like that was a real big back and forth, honestly. It felt like the reason, although I do think the reason why Brand kept it so even uh -huh. was his advantage game, his combo game specifically, yeah. where he would touch him and 80%, boom, immediately. Yeah, like that's what Stelter, is. It, it says it going into game three, like, I think Seltzer really has to like. He's got to watch over that combo game. Like he's got. He's got to keep reading ahead. He's got to keep reading the chapter ahead. Is that one your car? What? No. Car? I sure hope it is. No, my car is. Uh, my car is uh, pretty far away from here, actually, or a few blocks away. On the off chance that was your car, that would have been very funny. Um, <laughs> there was a car like getting towed outside. No. Yeah. And look, this is the placement of that neutral air actually getting around the down air that. Uh, 
Seltzer have been trying to go for. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna. No, okay, doesn't really doesn't get hit too hard for that. Okay, we're seeing a lot more of these anti air moves. The up tilt, especially, is a really Ooh, fantastic oh, option. Man. <gasps> I also I like that Stelter recognizing that you know, Brand had been going for that up B in the corner a lot, and roll onto stage is the counterplay to that. Man, we're having so many trades. These these uh <laughs> these multi hit moves from uh oh, oh I was saying that he, he wasn't did. getting caught by it, but. Oh. The movement. You saw that. He yeah. went so low. He got under. I think that was the back air. And that actually let him find the back air of his own that took that stock. Bran doing a really, having a really good pickup right there. You know, last time we, we've seen that he sometimes can get some really good extra credit. Let's see if that's what he does this time around. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Stelter can pull some spicy stuff if, like, if he doesn't get too far behind. Still not enough. I think he connected on the card itself. For those of you who don't know, uh, Morton has a mechanic where if he gets hit on the cart, he actually takes less damage. He takes more damage if you hit him on his head. But that does mean that he does survive to some very late percents, depending on if the character is more prone to hitting the cart or the uh, the head. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a very, it's actually a very unique mechanic. I know Arms actually uses mechanic that a lot more, and we have the kill there. Yeah, that's gonna be a big pickup, but at the same time. Oh my! Yeah. Wow. That. What was that di? Wait, did he die from the Mecha Koopa too? No, no. no. I, what was that? What was that final? I didn't even say. I think I'm think it might have been an aerial. I think it might have been a um, I, the, the iron ball. I thought he died from like a Mecha Koopa blast, like when he was in the close to the blast. Zone. I could be wrong though. My eyes might just be oh. deceiving me. <gasps> oh! <wow. laughs> the super Del armor. Delta ain't giving up. <laughs> I mean, I think he has every right to not give up. Oh no, I know. Like. Like, it's an uphill battle, but he, de he definitely has it in him. Oh, that was so cute. He picked up the... Oh! <gasps> oh, and Not with that... Not dead, though. Yeah, but he had, when he gets hit out of his up B, he has no card to protect him, so he's guaranteed to take no more damage. I believe that's how it works. Yeah. Oh, him will get blown up by that Mecha Koopa. Yeah, he's going for a lot more of these full and hop forward airs. All right, it's, it's got, like, he's got a bit, quite a bit of extra credit, but that's but he can, he can get that back, re he can get that back real quick. Ooh, don't, Ooh. don't hit, hit by that. If you've been a little bit faster, the less Stelter alive right now, but this is getting pretty dangerous. The landing hitbox from that forward air paying off so gave, well. Gave him no lick it. Good job punishing that down air. That can be a tricky move to punish, and obviously he has the matchup experience to know exactly how to do it. <gasps> yeah, that, that cannonball can just come out of nowhere sometimes. Yeah, this is, uh, Stelter has got to be careful. I love that. These yeah, forward airs have been Stelter's big adjustment, and we're seeing Brand now punish them. Yeah, yeah, you're just seeing them. They're 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 racing ahead of each other, you know. Yeah, also, there's the extra mix-up of is he going to forward air or is he going to throw out the boomerang? Because the boomerang does have that extra range that can punish sometimes. Oh. Oh, man. I think this might do it. Oh. No, he Barely. Lied, but oh, we almost got hit by that Mecha Koopa. Oh boy, yeah, he's looking for a back air. He's looking for that finishing move, but a neutral air is not going to be the one to yeah. do it. Brand's got to be careful though. <laughs> like, if 100%. he gets a little, he's too greedy, it could, it could very much turn very quickly. But uh, you tongue him to death? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't. He didn't taste the victory with that one. <laughs> oh, but that's going to that be one. He's that going to. You're so dead. Yeah, that's one of those jabs that kill because, yeah, g g game needs those. Yeah, yeah, well, we have those kill jabs. Like, <laughs> yeah, are you working